it's Erin here with Photography Design and I am moving into my absolutely gorgeous mint scribbles that matter for 2018. First I wanted to tell you that I'm splitting this up into part one and part two because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for part two yet but I wanted to make sure I showed you all something. I have two two-page spreads planned out that I did on my couch over the last couple weeks when I was trying to figure out how I was going to lay these out. So I kept the mountain theme because I absolutely adored this mountain theme in December and I just didn't get enough. So this is gonna be my year at a glance. And then this spread is going to be my holiday and birthday tracker. After this, I will be doing a quarterly goals page. So I think I'm gonna do a quarterly goals on one page and then maybe just a quote on the other page and then go straight into January. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and move you over to the time lapse, put on some music and let you guys enjoy part one of this video and I'll see you on the other side.
so that is it for my annual spreads. I'm kind of disappointed and kind of okay with all the mistakes I made. It's my bullet journal. I don't really worry too much about mistakes and I was able to cover them up pretty easily. And I don't reference these pages a lot, which is why I'm pretty okay with it. In the past, I probably would have started all over. Using the bullet journal has really helped me come to terms with <laughs> my mistakes and picking myself back up and just moving on. So like if I mess up on one page, I just move on to the next. Well, you guys saw my quick fix where I took a piece from my old bullet journal and I used uh, the Tombow permanent adhesive to put it down. And then I just wrote over it. You can barely tell. And I went with this kind of font, which is very structured versus the font for my months so I thought that brought a little bit of structure not only because these are boxes this is fluid and then it's a little bit more structured up here but it kind of balances out with the mountain ranges and I did a little bit of mountain range within the 2018. So this is my year at a glance. I don't really do a lot with this page except for when I'm creating my monthly spread I reference it to find out which days of the week and as you guys can see, I do a Monday start to my calendar. So if you do a Sunday start, don't do this. And then I went on to my birthdays and holidays for 2018. Some of these I know that there's like birthdays and stuff in there. I'll just add on to the end. But I really like how this went down. Oh, I forgot to do some on my mountains. Okay. So my mountain rangers are done. I Like I said in the intro, I really enjoyed my mountain range for December and I just did not feel like I got enough and mountains are there year round. It's not just a wintry thing. So I thought it would be fun to do. And I love the minimalist look of these pages where it's just black and white. I'm really happy that I went that route when I was planning this just to do a black and white theme because throughout the months I changed my color codes. So if these are annual spreads I want them to fit in with everything and there's always going to be black and white. So that was my justification for that. And then I haven't filled out my quarterly goals yet. So my boss started doing these quarterly goals where you do a snapshot of 90 days. Apparently this is more efficient to do like a 90 day look rather than trying to plan goals for an entire year because you can deviate from them with the knowledge that you gain through that quarter. So I'm going to be doing a quarterly page every single time. So my January, February, March calendar is going to go here. This section is going to say horizon. I'm sorry I didn't include that in there. I just didn't really have a lot of time. And then it's going to say quarterly goals up here. And then I'm simply going to list the goals here. I, I feel like there's a better way to do this and maybe I'll figure it out for the next goals page, but I kind of like the simplicity of this where I just list things. You know, maybe later on I want to do priorities and things like that, but I didn't necessarily find that that was going to be important for me. And then I found this quote on Pinterest, direction is more important than speed. I want to move forward in 2018. I don't need to do that quickly. I need to do it at the pace where I feel like I am accomplishing what I want to accomplish and the, I'm going in the direction that I want to go in. And then the next page will be January. I don't have a theme yet so I don't want to plan it yet which is why that's going to be in part two. And I know I said this page was going to be in part two but I actually stopped filming yesterday for the birthdays and holidays and I just sketched in some things in my old notebook and I really liked the idea of it so I put it in here. So that's basically it and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have questions or comments, please let me know below in the comment section. If you guys have ideas of what I should do for my January spreads, again, please let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to hear. I'll probably do a poll on my Instagram stories once I kind of narrow it down to two or three or four that I really think I might like. And so you can vote on those. You can let me know in the comments to give me ideas and inspiration. 
and if you like this video and want to see more please like subscribe hit that notification bell all of that cool jazz to let me know that you like these videos and that I should keep doing them.